hey, 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 hey. What is going on, guys? This is Jason with Jadron Aquatics. Welcome to the fish room. Man, I said that was some excitement today. That's because I'm just freshly off of Aquashella, Orlando, and I'm like revitalized and excited and ready to go. And yes, you read the title right. The top 10 the top 10 I apologize this is this is very this is very hard for me to actually say out of my mouth the top 10 greatest things about the weed okay I got it out whoo whoo the top 10 greatest things about duckweed. I know you guys are thinking that you have lost your mind, Jason. How can there be top 10 or even one good thing about duckweed? But I want you to know, in this video, I am not going to say one negative thing about duckweed. Well, I'm going to try my best. There may be some things that kind of lean to negative, but aren't necessarily negative. But we're, we're going we're gonna to keep the positive idea of the amazingness, holy mackerel, these things are hard to say. Woo! The great things about duckweed. All right, so let's start this out with number 10. Number 10 greatest things about duckweed is, believe it or not, aesthetics. When you have a nice layer of duckweed at the top of your tank where it's just you know, one deep all the way through the way the light comes in through it and the, the light shadows that it creates and the, and the small little uh, roots that come out of it, it can actually be very appeasing to look at, especially when you got some shrimp that are crawling on it. So there are some things about it that are aesthetically pleasing, but remember what I said, just about one deep, when you get it, where it's three, four, five inches deep, it's not as aesthetically pleasing. See how I kept that positive? I could have said something horrible like, it looks disgusting, but I didn't. It just is not aesthetically pleasing. All right, let's move on to number nine, the number nine reason that you love duckweed. It's because it can create a dimmer light at the bottom of the tank. Say you got some fish, some catfish that don't like your light just beaming down on them, you put that nice layer of duckweed above it and it will create shade for the water so that it's not quite as bright at the bottom for those fish. In fact, I've actually used this method. I use it in a different way now. I put duckweed on the top of all of my tubs outside that are in the sun because the water would not get as hot because the duckweed naturally provided a shade for all that water. So that is number nine. Let's talk about number eight reason that you want to keep your duckweed. And that is to keep your fish from jumping out of the tank. You know those rainbow fish that are dying to jump out. You know those guppies, those ones that get all excited and they just can't wait to just jump out of your tank onto the floor. Maybe you got some zebra daniels that are excited about jumping. I say that because today I had to scoop a, a zebra daniel off the floor that he was almost hard and I thought for sure he's dead and I put him in water and poof, he was back to life because he jumped out of a tank and fell almost eight feet to the ground. If you have duckweed up there, it appears to them that there is a top to the tank that they cannot jump out of. Now, I'm not saying this is a foolproof method, method because they can get out of the duckweed and clear it, but for the most part, they think it's a, it's a canopy that they can't get through, so those fish that love to jump might not jump out, but you really want to get a lid. That's how you truly avoid that problem. If you guys are enjoying this video, would you take just a quick second and click the like button? That way YouTube will share this video with other people. And for the 62.4% of you that are watching this video that are not subscribed to my channel, would love for you guys to become a part of my community and just click that subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. All right, so we're to number seven. Number seven of the greatest reasons to have duckweed. And that is because it provides food for many, many herbivores. For those of you guys who have goldfish, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Duckfish. Duckfish. Goldfish will absolutely devour 
duckweed. I mean, they will tear some duckweed up. Many people put duckweed into their tanks to try to get rid of duckweed. Did I say goldfish? They put goldfish into their tanks to get rid of duckweed. Now, why in the world would you want to get rid of duckweed when we've got 10 reasons that you need to keep it? I don't know, but goldfish will devour it. Many species of rainbow fish will devour it. They love to eat that stuff. It's actually very, very healthy for them. All right, so now we are moving to... All right, so now we are moving to number five. The number five reason that you got to get you some duckweed god it's just so weird these words coming out of my mouth i apologize but i just cannot believe the words that i'm saying but i'm not going to say anything negative about duckweed all right so number five reason to keep duckweed is it out competes algae yes it does this the you put duckweed in there and it will suck those nutrients out of the water like no one's business and the algae is trying to find some nutrients to get to and it can't do it because that duckweed is sucking all up. Well, guess what? In many cases, that hair algae and some of that algae will absolutely disappear because they are not the food that it needs to survive, to be able to thrive in an aquarium. So, fantastic way, maybe not fantastic. It's a decent way to try to get rid of algae. All right, number four. Number four is kind of a part of number five and that's because it absorbs nutrients so you don't want to get a bunch of nutrients built up in your tank because then you'll start having algae blooms you'll start having uh, you'll start having green water like crazy because you're feeding too much and a lot of other problems maybe you're not doing enough water changes you got a bunch of mulm in the bottom of your tank because you're not cleaning it out so you need something to get rid of those nutrients before your tank gets completely out of control well, that is what duckweed is for. Duckweed will absolutely devour those nutrients. And they, they, they love nitrates. They love to devour nitrates. I even had this one 55-gallon tank that had a bunch of shrimp in it that produced almost no nitrates. My duckweed, my, my duckweed roots were like this long. And the reason was is because they couldn't find nitrates. They were kept going deeper and deeper and deeper with their roots to try to find nitrates. So there's no nitrates to be found because they love them some nutrient nitrates all right let's move on to all right let's move on to number four at least i think we're at four who cares what the numbering is if i just use four already or five or six who cares no one cares about the numbering system jason they just want to hear about the amazingness Whew. here we go again we're struggling the amazingness of what duckweed is so i think we're on number i think we're on number four now because shrimp love it shrimp love duckweed if you see duckweed above the tank and shrimp in a tank that has shrimp in it those shrimp are going to be all up in the duckweeds business they like to hang upside down and crawl all over it and they like to use their little their little hands to get up there and get all that duckweed and get all that duckweed in the mouth they just love them some duckweed and it gives them a place to hide and so the fry can get up there and hide away from those fish that are trying to eat it so another great reason to keep duckweed is because shrimp like it and this is actually one I can really agree with I, I've actually put duckweed in a tank on purpose because shrimp were in there and I okay that I almost had a negative comment to why we'll, we'll, we'll let's discuss negativity in another video because this video is all about the positivity of your duck all right we are to number three at least I think we're on number three the top three ten reasons we're on number three Jason ten three Stop with the numbering already. All right, the main reason we need to get to this duckweed is because it is fantastic for your fry. Your fry love to go up there because it makes them feel safe. They feel like they're undercover. They're hiding in all those, all those, uh, those, uh, those uh, roots that are in there in, in the duckweed, and they just feel safe up there, and it allows them to get away uh, from some of the other fish that are trying to eat them, and there's small sources of uh, uh, bugs and stuff that like to live up in there that they get up there and they eat. So that is the uh, next reason why you've got to get you some duckweed. All right, the next reason that we're going to come to, which I, again I think might be number two, is you can take this stuff and you can compost it because it's full of nutrients and full of all the yummy, yummy, yummy goodness that your garden loves. Take that stuff out and compost it and then you can pour it all out in your garden and your tomatoes will be like 
Oh, your tomatoes. I hate tomatoes, by the way. Sorry, that was a negative comment. I take that back. I love tomatoes. I love ketchup. There you go. I love ketchup, and ketchup is made of tomato. I love hot sauce. Hot sauce. Oh, now that is something that's good with tomato. Jason, we're dealing with duckweed here. Can you please, for the love of everything, focus? So, I forgot what I was talking about. What? What is the reason? Let's look back at our list here. Compost it for your garden. It's fantastic to compost for your garden. And so if any of you guys uh, uh, are live in my area and you need some compost for your garden, you're welcome to come and you can work on all my tanks and you can, you can take the duckweed out. I'm not saying it's a negative thing because I need it out, but if you want to come here, I can give you all the compost you need for gardens to come for eternity. All right, I know you guys are excited because we have come to the final reason why you gotta get you some duckweed. And that is this. Because some, okay, let me hear this word. Some species of duckweed is actually edible for humans. Now I want you guys to know I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer. I'm none of these things. So if you're taking my advice on eating duckweed, uh, you're probably insane because I simply read this on the internet and I'm just vomiting back to you that duckweed is somehow edible. Now, from what I understand, you gotta steam it or cook it. In fact, I even read somewhere that it's considered a vegetable and it tastes like sweet something, I don't know what, but that is an amazing thing to think that duckweed is edible. So if you guys, if we ever end up in an apocalypse and everybody is starving, I want you to know that I will be able to myself feed the entire state of Texas with the amount of duckweed I've got in my tanks. The whole state of Texas, I'm feeding the duckweed. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This has been a lot of fun. If you guys got any questions or comments about duckweed, be sure and leave it down below because I probably won't be able to answer it. But I'll have fun making something up for you to enjoy. So thanks again, guys. God bless.